All right, hey everyone, this is Eastpoint Data Challenge for August 17th, 2018. And I missed yesterday's daily. Unfortunately, that might just be the reality that we are going to be living with going forward. Um, I just didn't have time, couldn't do it. And that's, I think, gonna occasionally happen going forward because of uh, the new job. But enough about that, we'll focus on today. To daily? To daily. Really no money in this one. Wow. Down to a thousand gold. We might, we might have to bomb this guy, but I'm afraid to do it because I have spring shoes and I don't know how he's going to react. Oh, I put the thing down on the wrong side. Hopefully we're good. I'm just going to leave. He essentially paid a rope and a heart instead of a rope and a bomb. I think I'm okay with that, to be honest. Come back for that damsel, we're gonna need him. We need all the help we can get in this daily. Oh wow, that's close. Not really sure how to handle this guy. Maybe we just skip him. This guy's dead. We just need the key and we're out. I think we have to keep the magic, unfortunately, because we are low on bombs. And we're just gonna have to be brave with the shopkeepers. Alright, we definitely need to, to kill this guy. The question is how do we do it? Let 
mean, can we just trigger him and then figure it out? Is that going to be reasonable? If you get him down here, he might conceivably fall into these spikes. be a big ask. So I guess we're just going to try to sneak our way out of here because there's no really other option. Let's see if we can do it on the other side of the... other side of the guys at least. By guys I mean spiders. Spider bats. I think pretty soon here we're going to want to swap out for a shotgun, going to the market, having a shotgun would be good. I'm just going to dig through here. We're pretty well resourced with resources, we just, you know, it's a little dicey anytime you, get, you have to drop shots with it. But we're ready anyway. Shotguns. We got an easy shotgun here. We'll just go ahead and do it. Got 22 bombs, so getting around the levels shouldn't be a problem. Hello, it hey. is me. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, uh, you are a random UVA fan, right? Like, I know that you said you had problems with your, like, Twitch user ID. But welcome back, man. Thank you for the 100 bits. Got the market somewhere over here. I'm not sure where exactly. Oh, that, that seems promising. Let's go with there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. See if we can find a damsel or something. You're a damsel. Oh, there he is. Uh, probably not worth the bomb. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm, uh, I started a new job recently, and still getting used to it. It's a bit exhausting, I'll be honest. But, you know, things are going well. Can't complain too much. Actually, might want a freeze ray. 
And the reason I might want it is because we'll be doing the worm in two levels. So yeah, I think I might take the freeze ray. And then we'll have to, we'll just hope that we can deal with the shopkeeper next, next level without too much trouble. I think the freeze ray and the worm is just too good. Planning ahead a little bit. See if it works out. Freeze ray's godlike. I agree, freeze ray's really good. Um, especially in the worm. Like, it's especially good in the worm. Because of how well it takes care of all the bacteria. Ooh, that's, that's a little awkward. I just try to sneak out here. There we go. I would advise against throwing mines at UFOs, it's just too volatile this, uh, situation. It worked out in that case. Kinda knew what we were doing. Alright, so that, that seems to work. Just, oh, whoa! I messed up royally. I was thinking, oh, I'll just trigger the shopkeeper by, uh, by flying over to the shop. Forgot about the lower shopkeeper, the one by the exit. Kind of caught me off guard and startled me. And then, here we are. I don't know what to do about this guy. Okay, we're just taking that point of damage, I guess. I don't know what happened to my freeze ray. Did we lose it? Ooh, we might have lost it. Unfortunate. Now all that prep work that we did is for, for not... Oh wait, there it is. Never mind. We're still good. Never used Freeze Ray on Anubis. Um, I definitely have used the Freeze Ray on Anubis. I feel like he just normally um, falls to the floor and shatters. Oh, in the City of Gold. Um, so that one, he just sort of falls through the ground, right? Because he, he no-clips through walls. So he just falls forever. I think I've done that once as well, and I don't remember anything bad happening as a result of it. It was confusing, for sure, the first time I did it. I thought it was a bug, but then someone uh, explained that he doesn't have, you know, he doesn't clip through walls, so he can't hit the ground. I don't know what I'm doing here. He lives in a Pearson Olmec's lair? That's interesting. Um, that was not what happened to me when I, when, when I did it. I'm pretty sure he'd... well, maybe I died. I guess I don't know what happened in that run. This is this is really awkward. I've got one health and, like, I don't know what to do. Just trying to, like, survive at this point. Yeah, I guess I don't remember if I like died during the City of Gold when I when I uh, use raid Anubis 2. That could be the case, and I just I've just never done it again. Maybe. 
this is like, this is a very curious situation I've gotten myself into. Wait for this UFO. We've got time, we've got nothing but time. Boom! Oh, we got him. And we get to swap out for a real gun for the mothership, which we need because the freeze ray isn't that useful in the mothership. Oh god, let's not. Uh, I'm, I'm flailing here. Too much going on. Yeah, I want to get up there and kill the queen. But without this purple stuff coming at me. We do actually want the plasma cannon, probably. Let's do that again. And then let's see if we can yeah, tunnel our way out. Shawshank style. Alright, that's a lot safer now. Get safer and safer. All right. happened. Not even sure what hit me. It's been a rock or something? Maybe a mine? I don't know. So I would like to sacrifice as much as I can. I haven't sacrificed anything yet, so it's gonna take a lot. I 
think that's enough to get me the Kapala. I haven't seen a damsel, unfortunately. Oh, the skeleton head hit me. That makes sense. I was worried about those things. We've got the Kapala. We could sacrifice that last Yeti. I guess we'll probably do. We can blow this up, maybe. Is that viable? Oh, we lost the corpse. Alright. Well, probably should have just jumped on it. You know, it's spikes. Gotta, gotta play a little safe. The shopkeeper, I wonder. So that should be triggered. And we can easily get the damsel here. So we might be able to get integration, maybe. Depends on how many bodies we find. I guess I should have thrown a rock at the Damsel or something, get some blood. That would have been helpful. Oh yes, that's exactly what you want to see. A dead hired help. And a dead shopkeeper. Um I'm not going to worry about Anubis here. Let me think about this. That was the scepter getting crushed. No, something else got crushed. So where are we at with sacrifices? Um, there we are, immigration. Perfect. Just what we needed. Uh, I guess there is the idol head that I could grab for free. Let's just do that. I guess I could sacrifice this guy. There's no real point, though. I've already gotten Invigoration. So maybe we'll just collect some blood. Again, if he comes over here again, I think we can just bounce on him. Ah, oh, a little bit too slow. He needs to be facing the right way. There we go. There we go. Oh, 
Yeah, so many Tiki traps, it's right. There are a ton of Tiki traps right in one area. Luckily we can destroy them. Not sure what we would have done if we didn't have the plus can. I guess just bomb them. Knowing me, I probably would have tried to get through them without bombing. Would have died or something. Just a ton of traps in general. Oh, he was already triggered and coming right for me. Was not expecting that. There was no music to warn me. I decided at the last second that I wanted to move that bomb. I don't know why, like we have 68 bombs, it's not like we're gonna run out. It's so much money. That was a decent amount, I guess. do any ghosting, so that's like, that's where the most of the money comes from, this game. I just don't have the patience for it. Uh, come on, come on, Olmec, keep up. I mean, if we wanted to, we could actually grab a little bit more money by bombing these gems out and whatnot. Not too worried about it though. Maybe just this ruby. I do have a, a soft spot for a good ruby. I think. I didn't see any pots up there, so I think we're good. Unfortunate that we died early on, or lost the Ock rather. Tetrid, uh, I just started playing this. Any tips for beating it? Um, just, uh, just play. Just, um, I would say like be patient when you see new things. Uh, try to like, try to like work out what they're gonna do, because pretty much everything in this game has like a pattern that it follows, and it's like the interactions between things that, where things get a little tricky. So like, be patient. Um, switch to the Pro HUD so that you can see more of your screen and you have the timer in the upper right. Um, yeah, try to stay calm. That's good advice, uh, Ivan Alvarez, for sure. Alright, well that's gonna do it for the Splunk Daily Challenge for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I will be back tomorrow at 10pm Eastern, and I will see you guys next time.